Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing what's the important message that you need to know from the universe. So we have group number one, group two, and group three. So please choose your group now and let's get started. If you want more time, please pause the video. All the time stats will be down below and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your message from the universe. Okay, so let's start off with the tarot then and let's see what we have from the tarot. So we have the four of cups in the reverse. We have the seven of pentacles and then we also have the knight of wands. Okay, I just realized how far back my candle is. It's like, where are you going buddy? Let's, <laughs> let's put you forward a bit. Okay. So for you guys a universal message. So I feel like your message from the universe is basically saying to open up to opportunities. There's definitely an opportunity that's coming towards you. And I feel like this is gonna be an opportunity that's pretty much gonna change your freaking life, okay? So the seven of pentacles is showing me that you are reaping what you sow. So you're basically getting out what you put in. So I feel like you have been working quite hard at something and there is definitely some reward coming your way, okay? So with this Knight of Wands here, he is showing me that there's definitely some movement forward. This is showing me that the energy is speeding up for you, okay? So the Knight of Wands is also showing me that there's possibly somebody coming in who wants to make you some sort of offer, and it does make me think of something very passionate. It is something to do with work, I feel, but it could also be to do with passion as well so you could be actually be really passionate about something that you're working on and somebody could be helping you with with said passion but it feels like something is quite important it feels like an important message it feels like something that is very much it's just a really strong energy it feels like a really strong message for you and the four of cuts is showing me that you may not want to take up this offer but it's going to be it's, it's really really good and i feel like it's going to be very very fruitful so I keep looking at the Knight of Wands and I keep looking at this person's eyes. So I feel like this person's going to be looking at you and almost kind of scouting you out. So you may be wanting to work at like a modeling agency or like something like that where you kind of need someone to kind of give you a leg up. I do feel like that's something that's coming in quite strongly. But it feels like you have been reaping what you sow. So it's kind of like you have been putting in the work, you have been putting in the effort. You just got to wait for that timing to come around, okay? So the first card we have out is the wealthy man. Beautiful. So that is literally what I feel like is the Knight of Wands. I feel like that's literally that same energy of the wealthy man coming in. I feel like this is somebody, I'm actually put him down here. I feel like this is somebody who has obviously a lot of wealth. The wealthy man is showing me that this is somebody I say who's going to help you out. This kind of is also showing me this could be a romantic partner coming through. So if you are single, I do see somebody coming in who has quite a lot of dollar, okay? Has quite a lot of money and quite a lot of success. They've worked hard on what they have been working on. And I feel like they could be an inventor. They could be somebody who's quite well off as an inventor or has their own company. And they're just really well off in it. I feel like they are very, I think they're quite a high vibrational person as well. So I think they've got a lot to offer you. Just wait for this person to come in, guys. I think it's gonna be really, really good, okay? So next one out we have is the cosmic egg. The cosmic egg is making me think of something that you're waiting on. You're waiting on something to manifest and you're waiting on something to kind of conjure up and come into your realm. So I feel like with the cosmic egg as well, this is showing me that you've been manifesting and working on just something and reaping the rewards of that. So what it makes me feel is if, I don't feel like you guys are gonna trust this person at first as well. I think you're kind of thinking, oh, this is too good to be true. Um, and I do feel like it is to do with work and love, so take it as it resonates. And the cosmic egg is showing me there's definitely like a spiritual element to this cosmic egg. This is kind of showing me that there's some sort of spiritual element to this energy that I'm picking up on. It feels very much like you guys have really been working on your internal energy and you're ready to transform and become this brand new person where you can really shine through and be this just organically beautiful person and just really just be your wholehearted self and just be who you are and i feel like the snake is obviously the snake represents transformation it's you shedding your skin but the fact that this snake is coddled around this egg is showing me that you might be protecting yourself too much so make sure to open up when this when this offer does come in if you feel like it's the right thing then don't be afraid to open up because it's going to be 
really worth your time, okay? So we then have endurance and we also have aspiration, okay? So both these cards are showing me that there's some sort of energy here that is drawing me towards like some sort of career, something to do with the career, something to do with um, that a just strong career element. So I feel like with the endurance, you guys have been through a lot. You guys have been through up and down. You've been through just, I feel like emotionally, you've been through quite a lot. So I feel like you're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you desire. And you're going to, actually, you are on the right track. You might not think you are, but you are. And everything that you are going through is leading you towards this energy. It's leading you towards where you're meant to be going. And the aspiration is showing me that you're reaching the top. You're looking up towards where you're meant to be. And you're thinking, okay, can I actually achieve this? But you can. You can definitely achieve this. And it feels really positive as well. I feel like especially with the cosmic egg this is showing me that things might not actually you might not actually see manifestations yet but don't be disheartened because it doesn't mean that it's not coming in i'm really picking up on this feminine energy as well i feel like you guys are working on becoming assertive you're working on your feminine energy or you're, you're working on um becoming your wholehearted authentic self and i feel like this is just really really positive and i just see ultimate fulfillment and and satisfaction and i love the fact that the cosmic egg is colorful i feel like before the cut the, the egg was very much like black and white and you had to kind of come out of the darkness to really kind of get to where you need to go in terms of your emotional health like i feel like you were kind of down and there may have been some toxic people in your life but now you'll learn to build yourself up more and become more sustainable and yeah just feeling really really comfortable with your energy and really able to be okay with where you're at and not have to feel like you know it's not going to work out okay so that's your reading i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you'd like a private reading um all the information is down below with my crystal shop as well thank you so much and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys so let's have a look at the tarot first and let's see what we have okay we have the hangman we have the Three of Pentacles, and then we also have the Page of Wands. Okay, so first of all, what, what I'm seeing is you're kind of waiting on something to manifest. I, this feels very much career orientated, and I feel like you guys are really learning to get grounded as well. So there is some sort of opportunity that's coming in for you, but I feel like not to make sure you're not sabotaging the energy so oh, how are they sabotaging it so basically you guys might turn up late for things you might end up being really kind of confused about about certain situations then you just end up just scrapping the whole thing um you might end up doing projects and not kind of following through with the whole thing that kind of feeling that is the kind of energy that i'm picking up on so for you guys it's really important for you to manage manage your time and also manage your money i'm hearing and manage your emotions it's kind of like a balance of like i'm doing this with my little one so i feel like it's something to do with balance and um correlation with that infinity as well that's also kind of the energy of just constant i just keep going just keep going with it so with the page of wands here, this is showing me that somebody is wanting more than what they have right now. So I feel like you're wanting some sort of change and you're just kind of waiting on it right now. The hangman is waiting, he's waiting, he's kind of chilling. He's like, oh, I kind of, oh, I want this, but I'm not sure if I want this. And the three of pentacles is showing me that you may be kind of working on a project with two other people. It may also be showing me that you're going to enter a new workplace and you're going to meet some new people who are really on your wavelength. This is also showing me that if you're not entering a new workplace, I do see you meeting some new friends and they have the same kind of energy that you do where you all have the same morals and the same energy and it just feels very, very authentic. And the page of ones is showing me that you may have a tendency to look back on the past. So make sure to keep looking forward and keep focusing on what it is that you want. OK, so let's have a look at the two oracle cards we have here. So first of all, we have luck and we also have pride so this here is showing me that you there's something to do with pride here 
I'm hearing jealousy. You might be quite jealous of somebody or something and to not compare yourself to other people because not, not, no one is like you. Everyone is unique. Everyone is their own person. Everyone is in, is that, yeah, they're independent in some way, you know, like everyone is their own person and it's focusing on those traits, focusing on the positive traits within you, not the negative ones. And there's definitely some luck coming towards you. I definitely feel like there's some sort of opportunity that's going to come your way and it's going to make you feel really free and open and it could be coming from a foreign land as well so a different country a different state that sort of thing oh i didn't realize we had another card okay so we also have faith here so this is showing me that you guys have been feeling really i'm hearing undoubtedly fed up <laughs> so you might have been feeling really uncomfortable with where you're going and just feeling like okay i can't do this nothing's going to manifest for me this feels really rubbish why is nothing happening and I think here it's showing me that it's literally just slow, small, slow steps to get to where you're going. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It just means that you need to do certain things before you get to the end result. Okay. So whatever that is, whether it's a project, whether it's work, anything like that. So we have the tarantula. And we also have the stingray. I actually feel like these energies are actually really similar and I'm not sure why. Um, they're saying because they're quite dark, intense energies. So the stingray, I wouldn't actually see as a dark, intense energy, but that's what they're telling me. They're telling me it is. So I feel like you guys are going into new territory. You guys are going into new a new zone that feels very unfamiliar, and it's causing you to feel very uncomfortable with your energy. So you're working on all your chakras, you're working on all your emotions and getting those in check. And for some reason, you are really just really uncomfortable with this new energy because it's very unfamiliar. And some of you guys are really shedding your old skin. Um, and you may feel a little bit contained because you, you've outgrown your old skin. And you may be seeing reflections of your old self in other people and other people who you don't want to be around anymore. So you'll learn to just shed that and walk away from anyone who no longer serves you. And I feel like with a stingray, it's kind of learn to just take things in your stride. And as you go along in life, just try to just go with that wave because the universe is always taking us on the right path that's for us. Never is never going to sway us on the wrong path. It's never going to tell us, no, you're not, you're not able to do that. Therefore, and then, then it's just going to end up, you know, you know, they end up homeless. That's not what it is. It's basically we go through things so we can learn a certain thing so we can so our soul can vibrate higher and we can manifest more so with the tarantula here this is actually showing up in a really positive light i feel the tarantula i feel like kind of gets a lot of backlash gets a lot of hate because people don't normally like spiders which preach um but tarantulas i feel like for me as a scorpio i can really see the energy in a tarantula and how beautiful it is um all animals are beautiful in their own way it's just our perspective on them and our opinion and people have opinions on everything you know we have opinions on other people we have opinions on certain lifestyles religions everything as long, but if we can change that opinion like the possibilities are endless you know so with the tarantula i feel like you're starting to to become this new part of you and you might be actually seeing parts of you that are really uncomfortable and it might just be quite a big shock to you but the more you get exposed to those uncomfortable energies, the more comfortable you'll feel it within them. So it's like unsafe safety. A lot of the time we can actually feel unsafe within our safety um, because a lot of the time we need to actually shed our old skin, but it's not ready to be shed yet. Okay, so this, I feel like you're actually ready to shed your old skin and you're working on all your chakras. I'm particularly looking at the throat, the heart and the sacral. So a lot of love energy. And I feel like for some of you guys, if you're wanting to manifest love, you're definitely on the right track. Okay. And also for those of you who want a romantic long-term relationship, same thing. Okay. So, and just have faith guys, know that it will come. Okay. So we have the false person and we have a mature woman. So you could have been dealing with somebody who is really manipulative and you are basically the mature one in this in this energy, in this reading. This false person really messed you around. I feel like it could be male or female or, you know, genderless, whatever you, whoever you associate this person with. But they are, they were very manipulative and you may have felt like, I feel like some of you guys are kind of holding on in there. If this is a relationship or, or any type of relationship, really, it can be friendship too. But you guys are hanging on in there. 
And if you can actually release this person, you're gonna be really successful, but this may actually hold you back. So if you are dealing with somebody who is toxic and who is kind of not serving you, just be very aware that this might actually be holding you back to where you need to go. And my um, heart chakra is kind of doing something. I'm feeling a lot of acid reflux in my heart. So I feel like for you guys, this is really affecting your heart and how you see love and have faith that love is coming. You know, you are gonna manifest it. And whatever form that is in, whether that's a relationship, whether that's friendship, you are manifesting because you are consciously working on yourself. And I can see that here. Um, but the mature woman is showing me that you guys need to take the higher road with people. Sometimes you do need to talk to somebody like they're a, a child. If they, act, if, they, if they act like one, treat them like one, you know, because at the end, or sometimes just walk away, you know, and make sure that whoever you're surrounding yourself with is worth your time and energy. And we also have number six and eight, so that could also be a very strong uh, message for you. But it's somebody who's really good at being false, like they're really, really good at pretending that everything's okay and you're like oh their life is perfect you know like they don't need any help but actually they need some mental help you know like they are really going through it and i thought i saw a fly or a bug and i, and I didn't so maybe that's a sign i don't know but um i'm kind of thinking of the song fly on the wall by miley cyrus now where it's kind of like basically someone is almost like stalking her and kind of wanting to figure out everything she's doing that is kind of like what this person's doing it's like i'm going to intrude in your energy i'm going to come in your room i'm going to call you up at really random times i'm going to be so inconsistent and not messaging you when it's right for you and, and then moaning at you because you're not picking up the phone like that sort of thing very very manipulative so if this person is somebody who's around you just be very conscious that you may need to let them go okay so thank you so much for watching this reading guys if you'd like to um please uh, subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below i'll speak to you soon Bye. Hello group number three, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, tarot first. So we have the nine of swords, we have the four of wands, we have the world, beautiful. You guys are really having like a 180 situation with your mental health I feel, and the tower. There's something that's really going to shake you though. It feels very positive. I'm actually going to pull the other cards out as well just to see what's kind of going on here. Okay, so that's so funny. We literally have the number four with the four of wands. I love that. Okay, so what I feel is going on here is you guys are becoming much more stable and you're attracting that stability. You're attracting somebody who is understanding, who is mature, who wants your hand in marriage, okay? For some of you guys, you're feeling really uncomfortable. You are being stretched mentally, spiritually, physically. You're being stretched to your limit, okay? You probably have been having sleepless nights. You may just be having a lot of anxiety or kind of worrying about, okay, why is nothing changing or why is nothing moving? Why am I going through this? Just lots of questioning why, 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 why? So for you, I feel like the question is, what are you gonna do about it, you know? And even if you don't even need, to, sometimes you just don't need to do anything, you know? And we can try everything, but actually sometimes it just means that we don't need to do anything. Um, I feel like some of you guys, you're really working on your body image and you're working on loving your body as well. I'm looking at this woman and I'm looking at her top half and how it's kind of exposed. And I feel like for you guys, you'll learn to just be more open about how you dress in terms of like just wearing what you want and not really worrying about what other people think of you. As long as you're expressing yourself, that's the most important thing. We then have the four of wands here. <clears throat> so I feel like you guys are really expressing yourself through your throat chakra as well. Um, but the th four of wands here is showing me that you're going you're gonna to get stability. So it might feel like it's like a, it's really uncomfortable, but nine comes up before 10 and 10 is the end, you know, and then zero is a new start. So the fact that we have the nine of swords is showing me that you guys are so close to your manifestation, it's unreal. And I feel like this is mainly to do with people who are attracted in love, but it's also to do with the self and how you express yourself, okay? So with this four of wands, you guys are wanting stability, you wanna have marriage, you want to have something that's long-term, and that is what you're gonna be manifesting. We then have the world, so I feel like this is a brand new start for you. This is gonna be a situation that might actually feel a little bit uncomfortable at first, because it's actually, I feel like for some of you guys, you're used to being in very manipulative, and manipulating relationships where people just aren't taking any care of you. They don't really think about you. That it's not a balanced relationship. So now I feel like for some of you guys, you've really had a 180 flip 
and you're really looking at yourself and thinking, I'm not gonna manifest anything if I entertain this energy. So I'm gonna focus on myself and therefore you've gone through a massive shift. So some of you guys could either be in either any of these energies, so whether you're very stable or you're feeling really uncomfortable, either or, but whatever it is, you are gonna manifest this stability and this um, equality as well. I'm uh, hearing equal rights. So this could be like something to do with the courtship in terms of like a, you're manifesting money from like a divorce possibly or something like that. Um, like a like some sort of legal matter might be sorted as well. So I do see that. I feel like also you're becoming more free. Like you feel more free. You feel like you're able to really express yourself more and people are really starting to listen to you more, I feel as well. And with a tower here, it's showing me that you'll start, you feel like you, it might, you might feel like you might be falling because it's something so overwhelming, but it's actually positively overwhelming. It's really, really beautiful. And it feels like something that's all connecting together. I'm really picking up on a triangle as well, like a, the shape of a triangle and it's pointing upwards. So for some of you guys who are wanting a male energy coming in or wanting a partner who's a male or, you know, entertain that male energy, that's coming in for you guys. Masculine energy, it doesn't have to ha actually have to be a male. Okay, so we have the vulture. This is so funny because sometimes I think that I pick up the tarot and I actually pick up the animal card. So I actually didn't mean to pick the vulture, but it was obviously meant to come out. And then we have the otter underneath. So just swimming with the tides and just being just really um, open to the universe of what it has to give you. Um, I'm gonna pull you a couple more tarot cards just to see what this is all about. But the vulture, I feel like, I mean, both of these are birds, so I feel like this could be um, a couple here as well. Peacock is you, the vulture could be the other person, either or, take it as it resonates. Um, yeah, feel free to swap the people around. But I feel like the peacock is much more open to, um, is much more open, you know, the feathers kind of come out, but the vulture kind of attacks and kind of leaps over. So I feel like for you guys, you're learning to just take things slowly and not to just go full on. But I feel like there's definitely somebody coming in who is wanting some sort of offer for you, like they, they, want, they want to come in with an offer. It feels like some sort of sexu sexual offer. Okay, yep, Ace of Wands, literally what I just said. <laughs> I'm gonna just 100% clarify that with that. Um, yeah, I feel like because you guys are really in your power, you're not going to miss this opportunity. And it definitely feels like something that's really positive for the Ace of Cups. It feels like a mature adult relationship. It feels like something that you've been wanting for a long time. And if you guys are already in a relationship, I see you guys um, possibly coming to a little bit of a head, maybe having a little bit of an argument or a disagreement, but then coming full around and then almost healing that part of the relationship. Because I feel like the universe just gives us these things, obviously, to teach us, you know, we this this life is for learning and it's for teaching us what is it that we are possibly missing. So you guys are coming out of a really dark period as well and you're learning that from your darkness that you've kind of been conjuring and looking into and really focusing on, that's what's gonna fuel your future and it's gonna be really beautiful. And I think the vulture and the peacock, I mean, people look at vultures and think, oh, I don't really like that bird. But then they look at peacocks and think, wow, you know, and you guys are really looking at both sides of you, the parts that you like and the parts you don't like. And you're like, Do you know what? I'm gonna freaking love every single part of me because I deserve that and I'm worth that time and the effort. But I really feel like you guys are getting the fruits of your labor. You're really manifesting something that is long-term and something where people are really looking at you. And I feel like you guys are getting success as well. You're manifesting um, popularity, um, you're manifesting more abundance in terms of people seeing you. I can't remember the word, what's the word? Attention, you're getting more attention from people. So it could be romantically, friendship wise, in your work, you're just getting more attention and people are looking at you more. And I feel like this in turn is giving you more responsibility, but you wouldn't be out, you wouldn't have the responsibility if you couldn't handle it, okay? I feel like some of you guys are getting new windows in your house. It's really random, but I feel like you are, maybe a new door. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here. I have my crystal shop down below as well. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.